Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to play the song Carry You by Ruel um, on piano. Um, hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. So, to start out with, we're going to have C, E, and the left hand. And then the right hand, we're going to have C, E, G. Okay, so we're going to play this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our... So G is going to stay here, okay? Then we're going to move our fingers back to B and D, okay? So this is going to be the second inversion of G. So we're going to play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So all together, it sounds like this. So hands together and then the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Now, when we move, we're going to play G and D in the left hand, okay? All right, <clears throat> so then for the first verse. Okay, so I'm going to play through. Um... Now, if you want to do just straight root chords, you can. Um, so it'd be. Okay. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just do what I was doing in the beginning and just play it this way. where it's going to change. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Repeat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the last four we don't count those because we're not playing now for the chorus <clears throat> it's you Okay. 
we're doing E minor to C to G, and the reason why we're doing G in root form, so G, B, D, right hand, G, D, left hand, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So E minor to C to D, uh, G to D. actually don't count okay now for the second verse it's going to be the patterns of it is going to change a little bit I know. between the uh, bridge is going to go. several different ways you can, so basically it's essentially an E minor to C to G to D chord progression so confuse everybody because it's the race. How are we doing like what are you doing? Alright, so just to keep this simple, we're going to do it one and two. Alright. So one and alright, so thumb on the right hand. Two. So we're playing. 
playing E minor. Up here. Alright. So, all I'm doing is I'm taking the bass note. Or you can play one, two, three, four. Or you can just do, there's so many different ways you can play this. You can either go bass note, right hand, together, right hand, together, right hand, together, right hand, okay? Or you can play root and fifth. Still the same concept applies. Except we are, instead of playing this E minor, we're at this E minor here. So we are essentially two E's above middle C. Okay, or you can go right here. Or you can go here. Either which way. Now, for the last part of the chorus. So basically the outro of that song is the exact same first line of the intro. So I know it hurts. It's hard to breathe Hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe comment below and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications until next time